In October of 1975, the first production A-10A, or SN-73-1664, was delivered to Davis Monton Air Force Base. Some four years later, in March of 1979, this A-10 was returned to the Republic factory for conversion to a prototype two-place variant of the A-10. The modification work consisted of rebuilding the forward airframe to accommodate a second cockpit equipped with dual controls for the electronic warfare officer. The canopy was changed from the clamshell type to a sight opening type, divided between the cockpits by an A-frame structure. This modification took about three months, and when complete, the aircraft was redesignated Night Adverse Weather A-10. According to the National Museum of the United States Air Force, as the name suggests, the A-10NAW was designed to operate at night and during weather conditions unsuitable for the A-10 Warthog. Additional components added to support the night adverse weather mission included a laser ranging device, terrain following radar, an inertial navigation system, and an electronic moving map display. Flight testing of the A-10NAW began on October 23, 1979, during the Air Force preliminary flight evaluation, which ended on December 4, 1979, the aircraft was flown for a total of 48.6 hours during 28 missions. Although the A-10NAW test program was successful, it was cancelled because of advancements in night attack equipment.